cleaning up after Irma. The debris, the damage is scattered across northeast Florida right now. We've been asking you to let us know where this damage is so that we can send our crews out, which is what we've been doing this morning. And Channel 4's Allison Hanning's been in storm track four throughout the morning. Oh, you're in a different spot than when we last chatted. Where are you? Yeah, you saw all that flooding last time we talked to you, and we were actually able to get back further down this street. People reached out to us because, you know, they said there were power lines down everywhere. We weren't able to see it before, but now that we drove our way down this street, we're able to see exactly what they were talking about. You can see these power lines right here, and if we take a look behind us, down on this ground in this marshy area, you can see more power lines on the ground right there. You know, we weren't able to see it before, like I mentioned, but now it's very clear. And this is just like every little bit of this street is covered with down trees and power lines. I mean, take a look at this one right here. You can see this big tree uprooted in this marshy area. Neighbors tell me they already got together to cut a lot of these trees up and clear the road yesterday. You can see some chopped up trees if we pan over to the left here, some of those chopped up on the side of the road and clearing the road of course we talked to frank kushin who has lived here for seven years now he says the power goes down most times a big store comes through the area you get used to it as long as you've got a generator then we know that a lot of people are far far worse off than us and if the houses don't get damaged and the rain's not coming in we'll get by And he also told us that Irma did more damage than Hurricane Matthew did. But again, he said as long as he can get gas for his generator and drive out to get some food and supplies, he will be just all right. Again, we are here on Jack Wright Island Road. For now, reporting live this morning, Allison Henning, Channel 4, The Local Station.